Crafty McBraft base is going to hang out, oh, about there, I guess. I don't know, where am I? Uh, right there. I went a little south from where we were on the last episode because, uh, well, because. I actually need to take a look here. Wow, yeah, I'm going to need to probably collect a few things before we get going too far today, which uh, I apologize for, but that's just the way it's going to be. It's actually doing a little research on what it's going to take to make some of the stuff that I have in mind for this particular season, series, playthrough, group of videos, however you would like to refer to this, uh, well, group of videos that we're putting together. And uh, I'm not really quite ready just yet, but like I said, I was doing a little planning, figuring out what I'm going to need, and... I think there's uh, a reasonable chance that we could do some of these kind of cool things that I would like to do, or at least I hope they're going to be cool. I, I'm not really sure yet. Haven't really filled you in entirely on them. Uh, maybe a little tiny bit, but not much. I've kind of hinted at it in the last episode, but I haven't really outright told you straight up what I have planned. So that's part of the fun is just keeping you in the dark about that until we're ready to do it. So uh, how am I doing on narco berries anyway? 17. Let's go ahead and grab a few more. I just, I'd like to have a few more. There's, oh, look at that. That was a good one right there. That got nine. I was actually thinking that might be enough, but you know what? Since that was only one bush, let's go check another one. 13. Uh, that's actually probably a good number. That's a nice round number. I can get back to Crafty McGrath face and we can go bust open the mortar and pestle. We're going to make a couple narcotics because I'm actually running really low on them, which is kind of frustrating, but, uh, it's okay. I haven't really, I haven't really gone after any sort of dinosaur that would actually make it easy for us to collect them. So it's okay. It's not a big deal. I'm gonna go ahead and just chomp on all of that too, and whatever. There we go. Fine. Food done. Water done. Everything is done. We are good to go. I'm gonna let these guys cook up, and then I'm going to grab these narcotics, and we're going to get out of here. I think we're going to go do a short little something for right now. We'll see how it goes. Not really sure yet. I'm, I'm kind of hoping this will be enough. We're going to find out anyway. Let's go ahead and make some trank arrows for now. We'll just make all nine of those. And I'm just not going to worry about not having any more narcotics at all. And if I need to, fine. I'll just go pick some narco berries. It's not like I can't do it. All right. We are going to go run up the hill here. Let's see. What time is it? Wow. Three o'clock already. Yeah, it's getting late in the day. I've, I've actually been pretty good about doing an... Hmm, you might work. Hi, cat. Got a got a cat coming in to say hi. How's it going? Hi, kitty. How you doing? Um, this one might work. Oh, you're gonna take off. Okay, well that's not good. I, I was busy, I was busy petting the cat. So um, here maybe I can track you down. I, I don't know. It's not really what I want to go after. I'm going to be completely honest here. It's not really what I want to do, but um, it would work in the interim. It would kind of get us a little closer to what I really want to do, at least in terms of intermediary taming. But that's okay. We don't need to worry about that right this second. We can go wander up here because I'm kind of curious. If I go up in here, what will I find? And I don't know. There's a Carno over there. We all know how that last meeting with Akarno went, don't we? Just out of curiosity, let's see, what level are you? Should I be concerned? Eh, 35, you're pretty wimpy. I could take you down without any problem. Well, that does kind of tell me one thing that I'm looking for, though. Or at least gives me a, a piece of information here. That potentially what I'm looking for could be over here. You probably already know what I'm looking for, just because we kind of went after it on the last one. You are a... Beaver, which means where is your cement paste farm? I would like to raid that and then run because that's kind of one of my favorite games. Raid the dam and run. Is that another one over there? Nope, you're a parasaur. You're probably running from a dimorphodon? Probably not running from a dimorphodon. Oh, hi guys. Um, all right, well, let's kill the compies. Let's play Kill the Compies. It's one of my favorite games. All right, now that we're done playing Kill the Compies. What is that? Is that what I think that is? Yes, it is. It is a Lystrosaurus. Interesting. I'm not going to tame you because 
I don't have a need to do that right now. I actually need a flyer, so we're just going to go ahead and say it. I need someone who can fly. Um, not you. I'm pretty sure. Pretty sure not a turtle. I don't know. I mean, uh, tortoise and hare, tortoise wins the race, but I don't think the tortoise wins by flying. Oh, this is... Oh, wow. I've actually come back to the exact same spot. I didn't realize that because I came in from completely different direction, so I didn't recognize that. Well, that's interesting. And theoretically, I can cut over here and um, run right by those guys. That one's empty because I've already raided that, or at least it's empty of the stuff I would like. And then theoretically, I can come back over here and somewhere around here is actually where the raft is parked. I don't know where. It's somewhere over here, though, I think. Where am I? If I look on ye oldie map, it would basically be east of here. I don't know if I'm going east. I can't really orient to the sun here, so I'm not really sure where I'm at. It's too cloudy. And the shadows don't really stretch as far as they're supposed to. In part because they are kind of terrible for performance. Well, that was kind of a just total drag right there. That was interesting, though. Turned up. Already been here before. All right, where is the raft? And actually, you might work just fine. Ah, I bet you that's that same one that we kind of saw earlier. Let's go and pull up the crossbow here, and let's see if this will do the trick. Probably not. Okay, throw another one out there. It's all right. I can chase for quite a while. There's a raptor on the beach. I don't know where the raft is, though. That's going to be slightly problematic. I can keep on chasing. There is a Carno over there. That concerns me just a touch. 35, you are the same one we saw earlier. So you know what? I am not finding that I like you Carno people right now, even though you're not a person. Hmm. Hey, that's mine. Go get your own. Jerk. Where are you? Oh, I killed it. Where'd it go? There it is. Jerk. Go get your own. And you would be the one that I shot in the face, wouldn't you? Yeah, you sure would. Oh, there's the raptor that I saw. Kind of ran right past it and totally ignored it. That's fine. Where did I run to, by the way? I ran to the north, so I actually need to go east. So... Yeah, that, that totally didn't work. Ah, boy. There's the pause. Love the pause. I hate the pause. Those guys are too far out. We can't really do anything with them anyway. Yes, they are flyers, but they're not really useful flyers insofar as can't really do anything with them. Ah, oh, come on. Come over here and land. Let me shoot you in the face again with my crossbow. Chances are your torpor has already reset, so that's not actually going to do me any good, I don't think. Oh, actually, you know what? I will spend a moment to get rid of this guy. Hello, thank you. Go away. And let's go ahead and bust that open, because that's going to give me some oil. And a couple pearls, which I should take a look. Are there any, are there any other trilobites or pearls around? I don't think so. What's up, Ichthy? You would like to be tamed, but you don't fly very well. You might fly out of the water for just a moment, but you don't fly in the strict sense of flight. I think this is sending me back in the direction I need to go to get back to Rafty McGraft face. Hi, Raptor. We'll go and get rid of you. There we go. And you just kind of bent backwards. That was nice. We'll go ahead and take those guys. We don't care about the rest. We'll leave the body for everyone else. We'll feed all the wildlife with a dead Raptor. Why not? Somehow seems kind of fitting. I'm pretty sure I came through over on this side. So maybe not. I don't know. It does worry me a little. I mean, I, I kind of just have to follow the coastline here. And 
theoretically, I will find it eventually, but I'm pretty sure I came in over here. I just, I didn't realize I went as far north as I did. That's kind of the thing. All right, we'll go ahead and hide the cat for right now since she's pretty much hiding and kind of done. All right, where did I leave that stupid raft? I don't know. Yeah, it's got to be further south from here. Really prefer not to make another one and then, you know, drive it around to find that one. That would be kind of a pain. Is that it right there? Is that my horrible raft? Yeah, there it is. That's awesome. Love it. How about you? You are level 40, so that might be the one we actually saw, not way over there, because that one's kind of gone. All right, that, that was kind of a total bust there. And, um, yeah... It is what it is. It's it's going to have to be fine for now. I was kind of hoping to to use that. No, not going to work. Let's go ahead and we'll we'll just take it on down the coast here a little further and we'll we'll see what we can find as we go this way. Maybe some other options will present themselves and then we'll go ahead and take care of that. Maybe. I mean, I do see a couple of tranodons over there. Maybe. We'll get a little closer and see what level they are. There's another raptor. I thought I put up two torches, not not just one. Did I only do one? I don't remember now. I could have sworn I did two. Well, that's kind of a pain. Did I? Do I still have one on me? Doesn't look like it. So did someone else destroy that one too? And I am just now realizing this. Let me grab some wood. And I probably don't have any flint. And I'll take that one. All right, let's do standing torch. I need more thatch. Great. Um, all right, here, let's go ahead and drive this over. And we'll stop and grab some thatch over here somewhere. Somewhere. Maybe right up here. That's kind of annoying. Could have sworn that I I put two of them up. Here, let's go ahead and do that. We'll grab some thatch. Thatch me up. There we go. And I'll not grab any more wood. Good. Because I don't want any more. So take that, you stupid tree thing. Okay, let's go ahead and drag that guy down onto number eight. We're going to... Pop this torch down, too. Let's see. We just kind of did in the corner. That'll be fine. And then let's just dump some wood in there. I don't know how much. We'll say uh, we'll say 50 is fine. That way that will give continue to give me a uh, source of charcoal. That's it. I had to think of what it's called there. There we go. Okay. So let me just go ahead and keep on coming on down the, the coast here. And I will rejoin you in a little while because we're going to kind of start down the path of uh, those plans that I've been slightly cryptic about. But for right now, I need to go do a little more traveling, so I'll be a, a little while. Taking a bit of a detour right now, just because I saw a bunch of pteranodons around. And, um, I don't know, you might work, assuming that I can knock you out in one arrow, which I cannot. Eh, I was afraid of that. I didn't think I'd be able to either, but... I thought it was worth a shot. Got a bunch of them just flying around over here anyway, so I can wait just a moment and see if one of them will return. And if so, then we can go ahead and play with that one and see what happens here. This is kind of a problem with these. They uh, just run away when you attack them, so you really need something that can induce a lot of torpor in a short amount of time, and I don't really have anything that can do that. I pretty much just have my crossbow, which is not very high quality, so it's not really doing a whole lot of damage. And because it's not doing damage, it's not applying a multiplier to the trank arrow and I don't know, all that stuff. And it's just a regular standard trank arrow, so it doesn't do very much to begin with anyway. I should probably work on that. I should probably make some concentrated narcotics. In fact, uh, let's see, Mordor, Mortor and Pestle, specialized one. We'll go ahead and learn the specialized one right now. And then narcotic, we'll go ahead and learn the concentrated narcotic. And we'll see if we can actually do something about that. Uh, level 75. 
I don't have any chance in you know what. There's just no way. Yeah, we're just going to have to make some concentrated narcotic. I'm, I'm afraid that's going to be the case. What does it take to make that specialized mortar and pestle? Uh, just a mortar and pestle. So it takes 65 stones and some hides to make a regular mortar and pestle. So we're going to go ahead and do that. We'll just grab some stones right now. That'll also allow me to grab some extra flint. So why don't we go ahead and switch over to the pick. That way I can grab some more flint. That way I can continue to make spark powder and make gunpowder because, you know, I can always use more of that and more metal because why not? All right, Rafty, you're just kind of chilling over here. That's the 75 one, right? Oh, you're level eight. Let's wait a second. Maybe, uh, maybe this one will come over here close enough that we can not stab it in the face, but maybe shoot it in the face. Here, while, while we're waiting on that, I'm going to go ahead and make mortar and pestle, and then we'll use that to make a specialized mortar and pestle, and that's going to allow us to make the concentrated narcotic, which, as I recall, basically requires a bunch of narcotics and spoiled meat, and I don't remember what else, so I'm going to need to grab some more narco berries here. So I should probably tame something just for the moment and use that to grab a bunch of narco berries. Um, so I'm not going to do that. And instead, I'm just going to pick them for a minute and see if I can get enough to actually make some narcotics here. If I could get enough to make one concentrated narcotic, I think we'd actually be okay. Not 100% sure about that. Maybe not. We might need a little more. But we can try. And I can keep looking up because you never know. Someone might walk by like that guy. And then we might be able to just, hey, come back. Shoot it in the face and knock it out. Perfect. All right. That's not really what I wanted, but um, here, have that. That'll work. While you're doing that, I'm going to go work on this over here. We might be able to make that work. I'm not 100% sure just yet. We'll see. This is actually going to be an intermediary mount anyway, so... Don't get attached to this one. We're pretty much going to use it to get another one, and then away it goes. Because remember, we are playing by a strange rule this time around where we can only have one tamed creature at a time. I know, it makes zero sense, but I like artificial challenges, what can I say? And I like stupid arbitrary rules that have no bearing on anything and are there just for the existence of making things more interesting. Because it makes things more interesting. So there you go. I think that explains it pretty much why I do that. We'll go check on that Tranodon in just a minute here. Still looking for uh, more stuff I can harvest over here. More narco berries, really. That's kind of the big deal right now. We're going to need to go pop that specialized mortar and pestle down. We can do that on Rafty in a moment as well. All right, we'll say this is good enough. I'll stop after this one. All right, where is, where is the Tranodon? It was over by the raft, right? Yeah, it's right there. Okay. How are you doing? You have not eaten yet, and I think you'll be fine. I don't really want to give you any of my narco berries, so we'll just let you eat for a minute and see how that goes. At least we don't have to worry about anything coming by and eating the Pteranodon. That is kind of nice to not have to worry about that. Uh, let's go ahead and take all those guys, and I did not mean to take that raw meat. We're going to put that back in there, and uh, let's take that, and let's see. I separated that stack. We'll go ahead and light that fire. Just because I can. And then where am I? Where's my inventory? Specialized mortar and pestle. We're going to go ahead and put that down next to the fire. That way we have one on this side and one on the other side. There's no real rhyme or reason to that. I just am doing that because I can. All right. So let's drop all the narco berries in there. We got a nice even 30. We're going to make some narcotics. Also going to drop some flint off in there. That way we can make some more spark powder. And then I'm going to take that gunpowder and let's go climb up. Notice how easily that went. I'll tell you about that a little later on. We're going to ignore it for right now. So some gunpowder, weapons, ammo. Let's go one, two, three, four. I forget how many exactly we want to do. So we'll do that. That'll let me get seven of those guys. And I think that'll get me up to a pretty good spot again. That'll give me eight just to kind of use it whenever I need it, because uh, apparently I need it. I like the shotgun. It's not the greatest thing in the world, but it does well. Turan Odon saddle. Let's see what we need to make that guy. I don't remember. Do I make it or do I make it at the 
smithy. Nope, I make it. And I just need a bunch of hides, some fiber chitin, etc., which I have all that. And the hides, do I have any in here? I probably do. Maybe I don't. Oh, you know what? Here, let's go ahead and throw those pearls and oil in there, because I think I'm also storing oil in here. I am now storing oil in here. I'm going to go ahead and take those hides. And I think I needed more than that, so um, let's go ahead and climb up. Apparently, I need to get further away. That seems to be what's helping me out here. I should have, yes, yeah, I going to say, I should have a ton of hides in here. I mean, come on. No problem. I have plenty of hides. Okay. So we can go into our crafty majiggers and make a pteranodon saddle. And theoretically, once we hop off the raft here, where are you? You are on this side. We should have a pteranodon momentarily. Why are you not eating? That is slightly worrisome. And those would be compies. No? That sounded like a compie. It seems unlikely that it wouldn't have eaten once yet, right? Like that is dropping suspiciously slowly. Maybe not. Hmm. I feel like I need to get more narco berries just in case. Because I think I'm going to have to load this guy up. I know I have narcotics over there, but I, I was really hoping to make a an arrow, not actually use that narcotic. You know what I mean? I want to make some concentrated narcotic and then make an improved tranquilizer arrow, which we have not learned yet. But uh, I, I will do that, obviously, before I make one, because otherwise, you know, it's not going to work. But minor details aside, there we go. Let me just grab a couple more narco berries. There's another pause. Doesn't seem like it's been long enough for that, but maybe this one saves a little sooner. I don't remember. All right, let's go see how this pteranodon is doing. I'm suspicious. It seemed like the last time was suspiciously slowly, too. Maybe not, but man, it, it sure feels slow to me. All right, we have enough time that we can just kind of go make some more narco narcotics. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. And I'm just going to hang out here with this pteranodon until I'm done. So I'll rejoin you momentarily. I'm pretty sure they should eat more than once every several game hours. Um, I must have a setting screwed up somewhere. So I'm going to have to check those a little later. But anyway, we do have ourselves a pteranodon. So somewhere in here, there we go. I'm going to take that cooked prime meat back. Yes, I was smart enough to go into my inventory and grab that. You know what? Um, here. Let's just go ahead and set you down and stop you from following. And I'm going to have to take care of that guy's, I think it's a guy's problem of uh, not really being able to carry anything because that is a bit of an issue. Here, let me back up. Even if you know, only as an intermediary. Oh, look at that. You ran out of wood, didn't you? Well, light that fire. We still have more metal to cook in there. So cook away. Cook away. And here, I need to lose some weight. So allow me to eat some berries. There we go. That yeah, frees up a little bit anyway. Not, a, not much, but a little bit. And then here, let me just dump some of this other junk I don't need. I'll get rid of all those and those. I should probably drop... Most of these guys here. Drop them, drop them. Hides. All right, I'm just looking at what else I'm carrying around. I don't really need to carry those, but I'm going to anyway. And we're good. So let me put a couple of these other things just in storage. Put you in storage. I'll put you in storage for the moment. And then you can have all those stones because those are kind of handy for you. I'm going to take those guys. So... If I go back into my craftimables, I should be able to make some improved trank arrows. We're going to go ahead and make three of those. That is, that's all I can manage right now. All right, so where is our uh, other side? Where's our pteranid on here? Level 11, uh, you can carry 153 pounds. That is really not much. We need to get you a level and pronto. So let's see if we can do that. Barrel roll the... The Parasaur. 
Nope, run away, Parasaur. Here, let's barrel roll that one too. And we're out of stamina. So let's wait a minute here. I hope that Parasaur isn't swimming away. It's trying to. Well, that's inconvenient. All right, let's see if we can get it before it swims away. Um, where did you go? You are... Oh, you are really getting away, aren't you? Sort of got it, but not enough to kill it, I don't think. Oh, now that shark is going to eat it. Well, that's unfortunate. Aw, oh, man. I'm trying to help out our little Tyranodon here. It needs some levels. It needs them in a hurry, so maybe we'll just barrel roll some some dodos for a minute. That'll work. We need to get you some experience. Here we go. And we'll just... Nope, totally missed. Where were you? You were stuck over there. Here we go. Level 16. And still tired. We're tired again. Man, this is going to take forever, isn't it? Even at 151% damage, it's still going to take forever. See, look how quickly the food is... Okay, never mind. That's just because he, she, it, whatever, was resting. There we go. Level five. Let's go ahead and take care of the Parasaur now. Here we go. And we'll go ahead and level you up. You're going to need a little more weight. Uh, that's not really enough. If I could get you up to around 200, that's probably enough. Because, again, this is just an intermediary creature here. So this doesn't need to be... I don't really need particular stats. I just need you to be able to... Oh, bye-bye, Dodu. need you to be able to take me around briefly. Yeah, let's see, where are you going? I lost it already. Is it over there in the water? Is that where it went? Yeah, that is. That's it. All right, here. We'll go after it for just a minute. I'm just leaving carcasses everywhere on this lovely little island. Okay, more carcasses. Basically, I stripped it of just about every... Well, actually, they're growing back. I see that now. I stripped of all the plants that I could actually harvest, but I see they're actually coming back, so never mind. I don't think I missed that many. I'm pretty sure I got all of them. Wow, level 120. Dodu. Breaking in the experience. Let's give you a little more weight. Here we go. And theoretically, if I can get you one more level, I think that would get me to the point where I'd be happy with you. Or get you to the point where I'm happy with you. However you want to phrase that. Level 130. All right. Let's give you more weight. 171. That's probably sufficient. Because uh, I'm pretty sure I can hit top speed with you now. Yep, that'll work just fine. So let's see. Where are we going to park you? We can just park you right about there. That works for me. And that's a nice quick escape. Not really what I had in mind, but that'll work. So we're going to make one more stop before we wrap up today's episode. And then we move on with the next one as we start to figure out our actual plans. Because these have not been it, believe it or not. We're getting there. Just we're not there yet. But we are, as you see, coming back to the kind of Skull Island. We're going to head back to that one for a moment. So we're going to collect a few more resources there. I'm going to need something quite specific, which, um, well, will become a little more apparent later on. Yes, the center does save a little sooner, every 10 minutes versus every 15, I think. Unless the game was updated to change that globally. I'm just watching my timer as I'm going, and it sure looks like it's updating or saving every 10 minutes. That's why it pauses like that. If you're ever wondering, when you play a single player game, it pauses. If you're playing on a server and the server can write fast enough, the game won't pause. It'll just slow down to close to a halt, but you'll still be able to get a couple of frames per second. That's just uh, one of the funny differences. Why? I don't know why. Let's go ahead and pull off here, and I think I should be able to get up. If I remember correctly, I can kind of go up off the side like that. I'm going to call um, Tranodon over. Assuming you can get out of there. Good job. Let's go ahead and fly on you because I want to go check this out while I can. Look at that. Wow, there's a ton of stuff to harvest in here. I'm just going to go up here because I want to see what's up here. 
I think there are just random flames up here. Yep, there are just random fire, but look at that. We're looking out from inside the skull. More rocks up here. Some crystal, that's kind of nice. And then if we go all the way to the top, wow, look at that. Lots of, oh. Well, that's unexpected. What are you guys? Are you Aranios? You sure are, look at that. Huh, wow, I was not expecting to find that up here. Look at that, we got a Titan Boa too. Holy cow, there's a lot of stuff up here. I had no idea. Oh, that is fantastic. It's kind of limiting but fantastic. And actually, look at that. What are you over there? You're a bat. Wow, there are even bats over here. That is crazy. That's just crazy talk. Wow. All right, well, let me go back down to groundish level and we'll see if any of those things that we harvested a few days ago or a few episodes ago or however that actually turns out are back. I know I could have gone in the fast way but I kind of wanted to swing around just to see if there's anything else on the outside that I've missed. Doesn't look like it. Doesn't look like it. I think everything is pretty much as expected. Okay, there's Rafty McRaft face. So if we pop back in here, I think all this stuff has come back, or at least some of it has. No, maybe not. I don't remember if I left that one up there, that one metal rock up there. I may have, I'm not really sure. All right, you go ahead and just chill there for a minute because I need to grab obsidian. That's actually why I came over here. I wanted to grab obsidian today, so I'm going to grab some of that stuff because we will need that as we continue forward with our various plans. I can tell you it involves polymer. Beyond that, I will not commit or answer the question to what those specific plans are right now other than I've probably given you a hint to one specific item before paid attention and you didn't skip through the episode, then you know what I'm talking about and you will be ready when it happens. But not that it'll be a particularly exciting thing, but I'm just saying, you know, letting you know that one of those things is kind of known to me. It's just uh, going to take me a little while to get to that point, I think. Wow, that does not weigh much thanks to that stacking mod, I think. That's good. That's really good. I'm guessing it's the stacking mod that makes that light because I'm pretty sure Obsidian is not that light. Crystal, yeah, that's um, that's pretty heavy stuff too, but it's okay. We'll take that. I do need a bunch of crystal as well. It'll be something that'll I'll need later on. I have to figure out how I'm going to make this stuff work because one of the problems I'm going to have to make polymer, I need electronics, I think. So I'm going to need to make a fabricator. To do that means I need silica pearls, and I have not found a good source of them yet. I know there are places on the map where you can find bunches of them. I just have not been to one of those places yet. Minor details, and maybe uh, maybe we go get a Nickthy and go do a little diving into the water, and that's how we get a bunch of silica pearls so that we can make a bunch of electronics. I'm not sure. That kind of remains to be decided. Otherwise, I could probably sub subside right now on trilobites. That's what they were. Sorry, I was trying to think what they were called. Trilobites. I might be able to work with those for the moment. I'm going to go ahead and say this is enough. I'm not going to be able to take this guy. I'm going to be weighing way too much for you. But just for the moment anyway here, I can at least give you that stuff. It'll make me weigh less. Let's see. How do I get out of here? I don't remember. There is one of these that I can kind of get out from. Uh, right here, it looks like. There we go. We'll just head over here. Oh, there's the bat. Bat's still flying around. How's it going, bat? Can I stab you, bat? Oh, bat is on me. And it's not going to last very long. Goodbye, Onik. All right, can I... Yeah, I can't fly on you. I didn't think so either. That's fine. Can I jump into the water? Yes, I can. Just in case you were wondering, I can absolutely jump in the water. Let me hop in here, then we're going to back up, climb up, and theoretically... Um, hmm. Interesting, I can change your name from here, but I can't access your inventory. Funny how that works out, isn't it? Uh, access, thank you very much. Let's drop that in there. I gave you all of the obsidian, didn't I? Well, that was silly of me. Um, hmm, that's not inconvenient at all. 
Let's go ahead and move the boat a little bit. The raft. It's kind of, uh, the world is in the way there. Can't see what I'm doing. All right. And you, I'm going to need to take that off of you because you are weighed down too much with it. That's just the way it is. And here, let's drop all those rocks in there and then climb up this bad boy. And I know, don't necessarily need the obsidian in there, but that's where I'm going to leave it. 654, I think that's probably enough for what I have in mind, at least for a little while. I'm going to need to get a bunch more metal and other stuff too. So that'll be something I might have to think about with the use of this guy. But uh, like I said, you are an intermediary. We are not actually going to be sticking with you for all that long, I don't think. Maybe, I don't know, we'll see. Possibly, probably not, I don't know. Something like that. But anyway, I think at this point we have reached the end of the episode. We're starting to kind of figure out what our plans are for the next one. So we will take care of that a little more on the next episode. And uh, look at that. That just looks kind of goofy, right? That looks kind of goofy. I think it looks kind of goofy. I want to run with that. Anyway, catch you on another one. Until then, thanks for watching. See you later.